Hi, and welcome to my channel, Unpack IT. My name is Chris James, and I'm glad you stopped by and joined me today as I provide an overview of the world's smallest, thinnest, and most powerful 14-inch mobile workstation. This is the Dell Precision 5470. In the video, I'm going to provide an overview of the specifications that you configure the device with, the design of the device, some key features that you'll find out about this lovely device, and also some additional peripherals that you might want to add when configuring your own Precision 5470. So let's get into it. <clears throat> Full disclosure, I am a Dell employee currently. I've been with Dell just over 18 years. And I'm very impressed by this device. This is a brand new device from Dell, just launched in May of this year of 2022. So when you receive your Precision 5470, you're going to receive it in a little slightly larger box than this. And this is the insert inside that box. So all our shipping now is 100% sustainable with recyclable material. And as you open up the insert, you'll be welcomed by Dell with this, your 5470 in this nice cloth. Let me just remove that here for a second. Inside the other packaging material, you'll notice you'll get an AC adapter, either 90 watt or 130, depending on how you configure your device. You'll get your standard information quick start guide inside the packet. Another nice feature you receive from Dell is a USB-C dongle. It gives you expandability on the ports, which is USB-A and HDMI. So that's what's inside the box. And then we'll pull out the 5470 here in a second. So I've mentioned the word precision here a few times. And the precision 5470, or what precision is, <clears throat> it's our high-end mobile workstation or a fixed workstation inside of our precision lineup. And we're actually celebrating 25 years of precision. It's our anniversary this year. Typically a precision is for a person who requires a lot of power, uh, dedicated GPU. So you'll find this um, in the upper um, category of the devices. So it allows you to basically to create uh, your ideas with no limits. So if you're an architecture, um, architect and you're working architectural designs or if you're an engineer or a data scientist a precision model is right for you now if also if you're an executive or a power user a person that's using um, multiple applications at one time doing audio video just like this you know you can also use a precision as well we're finding actually since covid you know since we are on these marathon teams or zoom phone uh, calls and using video you know, it does require a lot of system resources. So having a precision workstation, whether it's a fix or mobile, helps you allow to be more effective and, per and efficient throughout your day. So that is the precision lineup from Dow. Like I said, it's 25 year anniversary and that's who we would typically would buy it. All our precisions are ISV certified and come with the um, pro graphics from NVIDIA or AMD. So let's say get into the design of the 5470. This is a 14 inch notebook that basically sits in a 13 inch frame. It's very small, lightweight. It starts at 3.2 pounds. As you can see, it's all aluminum chassis. On the ports that you come with the 5470, on your left, you'll have two Thunderbolt ports. On this device here is actually configured with an optional smart card reader. So you can see that there. On your right, you're gonna see two additional Thunderbolt ports plus a micro SD card slot and your security notch. As I mentioned, this device is 3.26 uh, pounds starting. So it's fairly, I find it compared to what I used to carry, I would call this very lightweight. It feels good in the hands and it is got nice finishing edges to it. This device actually, before I open it up, is actually 19% smaller than our 15 inch. So let me just grab a 15 inch notebook here for you so you can kind of do comparison. So this is the Precision 5570. So it's a 15 inch device. And you can see if I put it side to side, how much smaller of a form factor it is. So it's 19 inch percent smaller than our 15 inch. And it's actually up to 12% smaller than our competitors. So here's the side view, top, kind of give you an overview of what that would be a comparison when comparing another 15 inch device. Now, when we open it up, 
you'll actually see the first thing that's be is very striking with this device is the screen. It's a four edge infinity, infinity display. So it's got 91% screen to body ratio, which is amazing. And that is a pleasure to work on. I actually got the screen brightness turned down a little bit because um, just for the camera to pick it up. But the screen brightness on it is actually 500 nit. So I can turn it up here and I'll turn it up to the max just to see if you can kind of see it on a side profile. Okay. Now in the configuration, when you're configuring your device, you can actually select the um, touch screen, which is this one is, or you can um, configure it with a non-touch screen, an HD screen. So this is QHD, touch, and the other option is HD, non-touch. The touch is reflective, the non-touch is non-reflective, so it's a matte screen. Uh, both screens come with 500 nits in our blue light comfort view, so low blue light panels. At the top of the screen actually has two dual array microphones. That works in handy with our regards to our optimizer suite that I'll talk touch on in a second. It has quick on access. At the top of the screen, you'll have our uh, webcam here, but it's not an ordinary webcam. It's 720 resolution. However, it comes with an IR um, camera sensor and proximity sensor. So this will wake up and sign you in with Windows Hello. And as you walk away, it'll actually um, turn down the dimness of the screen or an octa screen as well. So it's proximity sensor with IR, with Windows Hello, and we've built in actually a neat security feature called look away detect and onlooker detect um, with inside of Dell Optimizer, which I'll talk about in a little bit later on in this video. The screen is active, so you can use an active pen. The the, the speakers here are top firing, so there's two speakers top firing, one on left and right, and also two on the bottom. So you have four speakers in total. I'll play a quick video here so you can kind of hear the audio of it. Welcome to the zone, powered by the new Dell Precision 5470. I'll turn it up the audio all the way up. Time and power abound. So that's hundred percent. Kind of give you an overview of what sound looks like. It's got a good bass to it. So that's the audio. So once again, you've got four speakers in total on this device, two top firing speakers, two bottom bass speakers. The touchpad is large, glass-like touch feel. This uh, is a sticker indicating, remember I mentioned earlier, we had the smart card option in this configuration. Well, also you can have it inserted or you can have a contact list. So this sticker here is removable. And it's, uh, when you configure it in such a way with smart card, you'll be, um, this is indicating that the touchpad is also a contact list area for your smart card. Okay, nice feel. So from an exterior point of view of the design, it doesn't stop there. We have designed this device to have two dual opposite outlet fans. That is Dell's patented fan, which sits inside the base of this device. So two fans on the left and right side, pushing out more air from the intake and exhausting it out through the back. The dual opposite outlet fan is a secret to this device in a sense from a thermal point of view. We also use other uh, thermal techniques such as GORE on the thermal paste, but the dual opposite outlet fan allow this device to be a mighty contender in the workstation platform. This gives us the ability to put in an H-based processor inside this notebook. Now you wonder what is an H-based processor? Well, Intel has three different process categories, processor categories. One being U for ultralight, typically about 15 watts of power to the processor, giving you that long battery life. Two, the second, the P-based processor, which is performance labeled. And this is typically you'll find inside of our latitude lineup through our seven and our 5,000 series, We're typically around a 28 watt processor. And from a third point of view is H, H being high performance with graphics. So we've taken the highest level processor from Intel, H base with 45 watts, and put it inside a chassis that is typically would be rated for a P or U. And that's what makes this thing very special 
Not only does that give, we have the highest wattage processor in this device, so you have from an i5H processor to an i9. So with 12th generation Alder Lake, your processors have a multiple cores, so i5 being four performance cores and four, and sorry, in eight efficiency cores with 16 threads. You can actually go up to an i9, which has 20 threads, eight performance cores, and eight efficiency cores, so 16 total, which gives a lot of power. Now, when you pair that with the ability to upgrade your dedicated graphics from the internal in Intel UMA, you can actually put in a dedicated GPU from NVIDIA, the RTX A1000 card, which is four gigs of graphical memory. That gives this device, makes it a powerhouse. So you're able to now put in a high performing processor with a high performing graphics card to unleash your creativity and basically work with no limits. Now, with regards to the cooling, like I said, you have, uh, we have a couple of different areas of cooling from our thermal story. We have our dual opposite outlet fans, so two of them. We use Gore. We also have some graphite in there. So from a cooling story in thermals, it has the lowest TDP in the workstation for 14 inch. So we have a great thermal story with this. Now, one thing I did for uh, mention or with regards to the screen, you have a 91% 91, 91 screen to body ratio. One thing I forgot to mention is actually, this is this screen on the touch is Adobe RGB 72%. So if you're creating on this device, you have true accurate colors. Let me go over the configuration options that you can have with this device. So I mentioned earlier, you can have the i5 processor to i9. That's in the processor base. Your memory can be up to 64 gigs of memory. It's one thing to take in consideration when you're configuring your own 60, uh, 5470 is that the memory is soldered on. So selecting your memory is something that's of importance. We would typically re recommend starting with 16 gigs and move up depending on your use case. You have the ability to select your wireless card. We have Wi-Fi 6 in here. We actually have the Intel wireless card. So this is the first Intel Evo certified H processor notebook on the market. You have the ability to change out your M2 uh, SSDs and configure them. You have, I mentioned the configuration of the screen. You have configuration capabilities around the smart card. You also have configuration options around our services. Um, so you, this is um, able to have our pro support and pro support plus services and other asset other services at attached to it, such as asset tagging or imaging through uh, Workspace ONE or Intune. Also with services, you can keep your hard drive and, and also attach Complete Care, which is the service if you were to drop or damage this device, Dell will, re will repair or replace it. Now, with regards to the peripheral devices on this unit, you, can, can, uh, you have the ability to attach anything in the Dell peripheral manager. So in our, since COVID, we've come up with a lot of different peripherals to increase productivity while you're mobile. So I have a couple of them back here. So the first one I mentioned, the webcam is 720. If you'd like to go up to a 4K, this is the Dell Ultra, Ultra Sharp 4K webcam that would sit there on the screen. This connects through uh, USB-A, so you use the dongle. Okay, another option you have is with our premium headsets, we have a 5000 series and a 7000 series that you can connect through a dongle and Bluetooth. So as you can connect them and use these, our team certified. We have a speaker puck, the mobile speaker puck, this plugs in, um, it's team certified, Zoom certified, so you can work your day without any headsets. If you like to, that you have automatic mute and unmute volume up features. One cute, cool feature of this touch screen is using our brand new touch active touch pen. This is the PN7522W. And I'm just going to show you here, I'm going to launch uh, OneNote and kind of show you the pen features. So you can actually inside the pen, that's USB-C charging, which is amazing because you don't have to worry about quad A and finding that anymore. Battery, this is USB-C charging right here. And you can actually assign buttons to the pen as well. So for example, I have that, uh, the bottom button is set up for erase. 
the top one for the selection tool and the top button here to launch snippets. So the pen is very fluid. Um, obviously I'm doing this upside down so you can see I can do whatever I like. It's, it's very natural feeling. It feels good pressure on the uh, screen. The pen does come with a USB-C charging uh, cable and also a pack of nibs. So if you wear out, you have the ability. So once again, I'll use the bottom button and I will erase. I have the screen turned down, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And if I want to um, make a selection, I can just use the top one and see here, I can move it around. Oh, I forgot that. So it's very easy, intuitive. And if I want to, I've launched the snip tool. So if I want to snip it, I can, and then send it off or email out the picture. Okay. There is a magnet here for the pen to attach to. And it, I would say it's more for to use it as just a holding place. And also at the top of the screen, there's a magnet there where you can have it just holding. This is not a garage or anything for the pen. Um, one thing also co call out that's cool with this pen, it comes with the Tile app. So you can download the Tile app that um, on your phone or your computer and it'll provide the locations where your pen was last seen and also direct you to your pen. So very similar to the Apple AirTag if you're familiar with that technology. But this pen um, does have the Tile application or the ability to um, ping back so you can locate the pen directly through the Tile app. Another peripheral device I have here that's a must have, especially working mobility, is using the USB-C additional C14 22 monitor. So this is USB-C pass-through and I'm just gonna plug it in there and you'll see it just automatically plugs in. It comes, the back of it is a stand, it's not a battery and it has uh, USB pass-through. So the power adapter can both charge your notebook and also to provide power to the screen. Very nice, increases productivity. Um, I wanna say we did a study around 23% but it's very uh, companion. I would not leave home without the C1422 now since I've been using it. It does come with its own felt base cover to keep it um, scratch resistant, I say. <laughs> Our screen's not scratch resistant and it's also non-touch, but the cover is nice. It keeps it in a, in a nice, safe environment. Now we've gone ahead, we've talked about the cooling, we've talked about some of the peripherals. We've also talked about the screen. One of the applications I was mentioning earlier is Dell Optimizer. Now Dell Optimizer is a suite from Dell. This is a product suite that we've been working on since the 10th generation of the um, Intel uh, processors that have given you the ability to have AI. Optimizer is a suite of applications that give better performance to the user while they're using their notebook. We have, in this case here, you can see it here. I'll turn up the screen just a little bit so hopefully it comes up. And um, just one second here. You can see it here. So in this case, we have six applications on side the, inside the Precision 5470. Now, this gives you, like I said, a better user experience. So these optimization applications look at different areas to increase computer performance or accessibility when using it. So for example, in the audio functionality, and we call it intelligent audio. Intelligent audio will take out the dog barking in the background, child crying, and not only does it do it for your own environment, if you have an incoming call, you can actually remove it from the call coming in, which is, allows you to be more focused and less distractions, obviously. Another area here, when we talk about um, power, we have express charge. So that's going up to um, around 20% of battery or 35% of battery within 18 minutes. You're talking 85% battery within about 40 minutes. So it's got different charging capabilities for the battery and person that's on the go. You have the ability to have, I wish I had optimized intelligent oil working right now, you wouldn't have heard the dog bark. Um, we have networking, so this gives the ability to work on or connect to the strongest bandwidth network in your area with the least amount of traffic. You also have the precision 
um, analyzer, analytics, so you can see and get a report back that's unique to the Precision lineup. And you also have applications where you can load up five applications and it'll optimize them to make sure they're working in the most efficient way, leveraging both processor and RAM. And the last one is actually really cool. This is the um, presence detection. This is what I was talking about earlier with the webcam. So you have the ability to turn on two features for security. So since we'll be going to a hybrid approach and open commerce, basically a lot of conversations been around security and keeping information. Now, traditionally people would apply a 3M screen to darken down their, you know, keep privacy high and, you know, darken down their screen. But also from a user point of view, that's when that's always on, it does reduce productivity. So uh, the idea here with the presence detect is that the actual webcam can detect when there's more than one face looking at your screen or when your screen, your face is no looking at the screen. So it's called onlooker. So what will happen here is a notification will come on and it says uh, onlooker has detected multiple faces and it'll actually put a texturized, uh, texturized fill, uh, fill on top of the screen like filter. So nobody can see your screen and you can, Put in different settings you can suppress it if you like but that's one feature or when you have look away detect if you let's say you're in an environment and somebody asks you for your order or had just had a quick question for you when you look away your screen will darken and it'll also lock up your screen if you don't return your face back to your screen so there's a couple of different features around keeping privacy and that's through dell optimizer and so dell optimizer offers a lot of ability to customize your PC, not only on our Precision 5470, but you can find Dell Optimizer on our Dell Latitudes and also on our desktops. So different functionalities and different categories of product, but we believe in having the AI-based software. This is a module-based software that you can install through SCCM. So if there are certain features that you like and want to manage those features, you can turn them on. If there's other features you don't feel that are worthwhile, you can remove those as well. So you do have the flexibility to deploy Dell Optimizer any which way you want. It is a suite that we keep on investing in and it only gets better with time. I believe there's a few other cool features coming for it. So keep tuned. So overall, the 5470 is a perfect computer to work on, especially from an executive point of view. This is feels great in the hand. It gives you, like I said, the ability to create without limits. You have configuration options on this device that really give you the flexibility to hit a price point that you like to hit on or take it right up to and max it out. Now, I have here sitting in front of me the i5 uh, version with the internal um, Intel IRS graphics cards. I've been using it for about a week. It's been a pleasure to work on this device. I wish this was my own PC to work on uh, during work, and I'm trying for that, but it's uh, been a pleasure. It's very quiet. Um, as it's been on here and been playing video with the fan, there is no fan noise to talk about. So, and it does not heat up. It's very cool still to the touch. Um, so, and that's one thing we've noticed over COVID. You know, there's been a lot of conversations from customers talking to us about fan noise and also thermals and just be give you a peace of mind that the Precision 5470 is a notebook that has leading thermals in the industry, keeping it cool. Yes, the, you know, if you put it under load, you could hear fan noise. It's, it's not 100% silent, but it's very, very low compared to some of the other PCs I've been on in the past. The, um, just to give you a quick overview by, before we conclude, some of the key features on this device, obviously the screen being a 91% body ratio. So you have uh, four infinity edges. So you're working on as maximum of a screen on the touch. Very fluid when using the, the um, USB-C chargeable pen. Nice experience on that. You have uh, Adobe RGB 72% on the screen, low light comfort view and 500 nits. Like I said, you can switch out the screen. You have the ability to change out the graphics card. So that gives it a lot of uh, capability when working on the higher applications for AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Maya, um, the creative suite from Adobe. So you have a lot of flexibility when you put in that dedicated GPU. 
One thing I will call out, when you do put in the dedicated GPU, you will go up to the 130 watt power adapter. And that um, obviously it requires more power. You can pair this device with the uh, USB-C hub monitors that we have right now, the U32 or 40 U series or C series. One thing I do would call out though, is that those monitors do have charging capabilities at this time at 90 watts. So when you pair that with a hub monitor, the hub monitor cannot charge at the same rate that the, that the power is going down. So there may be you know, a point in time where you might go down to 0%. But if you have uh, integrated graphics, that requires just a 90 watt power delivery and those hub monitors and conference monitors do deliver 90 watts, so they pair out and, uh, nicely. The um, other key features we talked about was the, the speakers. I think it has an excellent sound to it. Uh, once again, Stay just turn up. With the new Precision 5470 mobile workstation. So. I think the sound quality is very exceptional and it provides a nice full sound. It's not tinny. The touch pad is nice, um, overview glass like. Um, it's big enough. I didn't, I didn't find any problems using the touch pad, um, scrolling up and down. The, it was nice and side to side. And um, it feels good in the hand. Like I said, it's only 3.26 pounds, so it feels good. And one thing I call out from the design, we've had nothing like this in our portfolio before. You might think some users might be sitting back and say, well, that's an XPS. Well, this is not an XPS. XPS is only offered in 13 and 15 inch chassis. Although it might look at some of the exterior and the ports kind of look like XPS, but this is not an XPS chassis, nor it has it any tenants similar to the XPS. So this is a product that's all on its own. It was launched for the 25th anniversary and kind of an Easter egg there. If you're in the United States, you in, if they still have stock, this thing did launch with the ability to have a blue exterior shell. So you could have it in blue. That was something we did uh, for the 25 uh, year anniversary. And it is unfortunately only available in the United States. I'm based here in Canada. So I don't, <laughs> I don't have access to the blue one. So, um, I think that's basically it. It's a beautiful device. It feels great. It has a lot of functionality, a lot of configurable options. Like I said earlier, this gives the executives uh, power users to create with no limits. Um, you can have the ability to have that Intel H based processor with 45 watts, have as, as high as much power that Intel offers at this point in time. So you can get up to 20 threads on this device and basically just have a great experience. That's my overview of the Precision 5470. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be talking about its bigger brother um, here or sister in the next, few, uh, next couple of weeks. This is the Compact, the Precision uh, 3260 Compact Desktop. Very small. Once again, packs a punch just like the 5470. You can kind of see something um, a lot of users now are demanding lots of power, but small footprints. And we're delivering that with innovative designs from Dell. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the like button, comment below. Look forward to your comments. So I uh, look forward to answering them as well. Thanks again. And my name's Chris James. Have a great day.